Hey saddle hunters, thanks for tuning in to watch another video. If you do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to the channel, that really helps me bring you a lot more saddle hunting content. We're just gonna do a quick video today. We're gonna take a look at the updated Shawan car with the flat Monarch on the top of it. And then we're gonna look at another option for you guys that one stick. This is the dropout pouch from Custom Gear Modifications. So let's jump into it and start out by taking a look at the flat Monarch. So, Out on a Limb is no longer manufacturing any of their sticks with the clam cleats. Uh, they're only going to be shipping them with the top hat. Now I asked Matt and I'm assuming he would still do this to drill a hole so that I could attach the, the Schaefer cam cleat. So uh, I've attached the Schaefer cam cleat. If you do that you're going to need uh, bolts that are about one and three quarters would be about the perfect length. I ran two inch bolts through there and uh, they stick out the back just a little bit so I screwed a nut on there but they're threaded the entire way. So uh, seems to work out pretty good. You can see here that the flat Monarch is exactly that. It's just flat across the top, no angle on the front. And for a guy with my hunting style that likes to sit when I'm up in the tree, this works out a whole lot better. And it gives you a much cleaner and flatter climbing area. So I'll show you some close-ups, but when you stand on this, you really have got a lot more uh, foot, foot room to work with. So that's really, really nice. These sticks are now coming from out on a limb in two different lengths. You can get a 12 inch or a 14 inch. This is a 14 inch. So from the top of the platform to the top of the bottom step is about 14 and a quarter inches. And the overall length is 16 inches. This platform is just a hair over six inches uh, deep and 10 inches wide. So that should give you a good idea of kind of the specs of the stick. You can see that the platform is now sunk down onto the post to give it a little bit more rigidity and it doesn't flex as much. I'll show you some close-ups of that on it here in a second, but works really well. I've uh, paired it with a full berry Amsteel rope mod to go through that cam cleat. And now I've gone with a three step aider at 16 or 17 inch spacing. I can't remember which. Uh, I'm using a Bund Easy from Genesis 3D Printing. You can see that there. It's just basically a bungee with a ball and an adjustment to wrap up my aider and keep it attached on the bottom of the stick. So that works really, really well. I'll put a link to that below, but you can see there's the stick. Let me throw it on the tree and I'll just give you guys a quick idea of how it functions. So I'll give you an idea how to put this on the tree. You're just gonna run your Amsteel rope mod around the back, set the stick on there, come, come through the cam cleat, and then to set it, you're gonna wanna pull it out and down to set it. And then you can just loop your, your rope up anywhere you'd like to grab it. And that's all there is to setting the stick with the Schaefer cam cleat. Give you a quick idea here of how it is to stand on. So you can see when I'm standing on the stick, I've got the ball of my foot even on the flat part now. Whereas before with the slant, the ball of my foot was landing on the slant. So to me, this, this feels a whole lot more stable and would be a lot, lot more comfortable for the climb. I want to show you, there's a little bit of wiggle in, in the platform, which is I think not due to the platform itself, but so much just the, the billet post. But you can see the platform will kind of have a little give to it as you move around the tree. I mean, but guys, let's just face it. In every one of these videos, you see some guy going back and forth like this, exaggerating how much to play it is. But for the most part, you're going to be standing on it. You might be leaning on it and you're not going to feel that. Even when you go to position for a shot, you get way out here to the side. You just don't. Yeah, you can feel it move, but it's nothing alarming. I think if you were focused on actually taking a shot, you're really not even going to notice that movement. It just looks pretty exaggerated, but really doesn't feel bad at all. So for me, this, this isn't a deal breaker. This stick's so light that I'll deal with a little bit of movement in the platform. 
So that's just a quick look at the Shawan car with the flat Monarch on top. You can catch my other video that goes more into detail about the Shawan car. I'll add a link to that below. But I really like the flat version a whole lot better than the original. Just for my hunting style and, and being a sitter, this is going to work a lot better. And I think it's going to make climbing a lot, lot easier. And, and the cam cleat works a whole lot better than the clam cleat. It's been demonstrated that the clam cleat is kind of unsafe. And so I would encourage you, if you have a clam cleat, pull it off and either go strictly with the top hat or, or add a cam cleat to it. But this is a good option for a one stick, especially for you guys that want to go as lightweight and as minimalistic as possible. You really can't beat this package. And like I said, yeah, there's wiggle to it, but at the end of the day, I don't think you'll really even notice it when you're hunting because you're not doing a whole lot of maneuvering back and forth and just focusing on, on that movement. Uh, to me, it, it really is is no big deal. So let's move on and talk about this fantastic pouch from Custom Gear Modifications. So the next product I wanna show you is the dropout bag from Custom Gear Modifications. This is a bag designed for guys that one stick climb and rappel down from the tree. This bag is really unique. It's unlike anything we've seen so far. It is a tall and narrow bag, unlike a roll-up pouch, which is kind of short and wide, and dump pouches, which are kind of just wide. This is really skinny and narrow. It is 10 and a half inches from, from top to bottom of the body of the bag and when laid flat it's six and a half inches wide it's got this nice mesh pocket on the front which is seven inches high five inches wide and then when you open it at the center it's about two inches deep plenty of room to put uh, your safeguard in there and your quick link i have 25 feet of paracord for my pull-up rope with a carabiner in there so lots of room in that and then it has drawstrings on the top and the bottom of the bag and so as you see it here from drawstring to drawstring it's about 16 inches tall it's got a nice attachment method really stiff webbing with tri-glides to go through your molly loops on your saddle and then on the bottom it has a leg strap and this is totally adjustable it's a quick release buckle and that's really really nice one of my concerns at first when i saw the the kind of the prototype of this was oh it might flap around a lot but then they added this leg strap and let me tell you what that leg strap really is awesome it just keeps the saddle right where you want it so that's really really nice it also has a loop down here on the bottom which is large enough to put a carabiner through i have attached the bottom of my pull-up rope to it so then i can just pull that out and and hook my bow to it as i climb it's just going to follow me up the tree and then i can just lower my bow uh, down at the end of the hunt so that's that's a really really nice feature but kind of the hallmark feature of this pouch and why it's called the dropout pouch is that when you are are ready to hunt you let's say you have climbed the tree you can keep your rope in the bag so it's nice and neatly contained and then when you're ready to hunt all you do open that drawstring open the bottom of the bag take the rope and drop it out the bottom and uh and you're ready to go so you can see this is 40 feet of sterling canyon nine millimeter rope fits in there very easily we'll give you an idea now kind of how to use the pouch and how it functions and how the how the features play out in the real world all right so let me show you how this dropout bag is going to function you're going to want to put it on the same side that the tail end of your rope is is going to be on so for me and most guys i think that use a safeguard or any of those devices the rope comes out the right side so you're going to want your pouch on the right side that just makes it a little bit easier to manage but you can see i can just take this and do the real quick elbow wrap which is really nice at the end of the hunt nobody wants to spend you know 10 years at the bottom of the tree trying to get their stuff back and wrapped up so real quick around the elbow there and make sure the bottom of the bag cinched and then just stuff it down in there Like I said, this is 40 feet of nine millimeter rope. Pull the safeguard in, kind of just tuck it into the top there. Stuff the uh, quick link in the outside pouch there. Take the slack and 
stuff it in the pouch and, and I'm ready to go. You can see how easy that is to pack up and put inside the bag. So now let's say I, I climb the tree, I'm at hunting height, how's this bag actually function? So all I'm gonna do, pull out the uh, end with my quick link on there. I can pull it out a ways, run it around the tree. Keep my safeguard out of here. around the tree, hook up, so now I'm ready to hunt. The nice thing about this is that you can, it keeps the rope really, really contained right there next to me. It's not flopping around in my way a whole lot, so, so that's super, super nice. And then at the end of the hunt, all I gotta do, I can take my my pull up rope or my pull pull down rope. In this case, I would hook it behind my scaffold knot. So I can pull that down, take the bottom of the bag, open it up, take the rope, drop it down to the ground, put my hand on the brake side of the rope, and then I can just repel and it just feeds down through that bag super super easy just like that so really really easy to use I I like this pouch a lot there's one other feature that I like about it and that's the size let me show you how I would personally use this pouch so as I've mentioned in some of my other videos I prefer to use one pouch for everything in this case my rappel rope and my lineman's belt and you can do that with this pouch so let me show you how I do that I, I'm gonna have to do my rope in a figure eight configuration so you just you're just gonna cross over in front of your arm as you wrap it up really once you get the hang of it doesn't take much more time at all than just the typical hand over the elbow method so once you get it like that, you're basically going to kind of work it so you have two equal halves and then you just simply fold them in half. So it's got a little bit more compact roll of rope, but because it's figurated, it will uncoil super easily. So take that and the pouch is just wide enough that I can fit, fit that down in there, put my safeguard in there. Then I would take my quick link, put it in the outside of the pouch. Take whatever excess I've got and just kind of shove it in there to tidy up. Now, you can see I have a little bit of extra room there now in the top of the pouch. More than enough room to put my 8mm Oplux uh, Lyman's belt with my carabiner. Take that. Shove it down in the top, and I'm ready to go. All my ropes in one pouch that's nice and narrow, easy to get to. I would typically just keep this girth hitched right here, and then I can just stuff it down in the pouch. Now, at the end of the hunt, I wouldn't want it, you know, obviously I can't keep it in the pouch when I go to repel because the other rope would be getting snagged on it so all I'm gonna do is take it and shove it in my coat pocket for the rappel down and that'll be easy enough to use so this is a really good pouch guys a lot of you will like that it's a little bit more narrow tons of room in it and it doesn't feel bulky at all because that leg strap keeps it from flapping around and you can see even in a saddle with open molly loops like this h2 it does not move around at all that that leg strap really helps to keep it from falling out of those open mollies and and these are nice stiff tri-glide connections on this pouch too so just really well thought out design i would encourage you guys to support jerry and his family over there at custom gear modifications this is a fantastic product i'm really excited about it they're 45 dollars, and you can buy them from customgearmodifications.com once again, thanks for tuning in to watch. I appreciate all of your support and get out there and do a little saddle hunt.